Oh man, who's that? Oh, there, that's the freaking V2 again. Hit it, boys! Hit the rocket! All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Bomber Crew. Now, you can see this campaign progress is kind of sluggish, but you know what? We got the best crew in the history of mankind. I mean, at least from where I'm sitting at this desk. But we got some Halloween themed bomber. Look at this. This is the vampire, the Vlad Dracul, or Nosferatu. But that's not what we're going to be calling the plane. Let's go to our livery here. And let's go to the waste techs, because you guys have spoken that you want this to be called Flying Fortress. Now, I think we should rename it every episode, so while this episode is going to be the Flying Fortress, I want you guys to leave a comment and vote on what you think it should be. So if you see someone leave a comment, you're like, it's called the Toasty McToast Face, or like the Blue Baron, or just something silly, and you like it, go ahead and upvote their comment and please don't use those suggestions come up with something that's a lot better because that's that's not very good <laughs> but um yes we've got the flying fortress as brought to us by mr oscar chapman today and good lord now i want to show you what we've been doing with the plane we have been upgrading this i did a lot of missions grinding it behind the scenes basically our crew started out i've got nine thousand pounds seven thousand two hundred thirty five research points basically you know experience i guess you could say i'm, I'm still not entirely sure what this means because we never really use it it's just a measurement by whereby we can open up other things so it seems like yeah fourteen thousand is kind of like the max once we get to fourteen thousand which we're only halfway there oh halfway there then that's when we get the good stuff, I guess. Oh my god, I want 50 caliber machine guns. Look at this. 250 calibers. And then we can go to a quad. But that's at, like, that's really far away. So the nose turret, we haven't really upgraded these bad boys too much. So let's do that. Now, unfortunately, the nose turret is actually the farthest from the ammunition, but we can't use it. So we're gonna at least upgrade the tail, the mid turret, and the nose turret. I'm not sure if we should really upgrade the ventral turret. It's just a lot of money, which we could use on other things. And I, and I don't always use it. Plus, oftentimes we're flying at low altitude, so it's very rare that an enemy aircraft is going to be under us. It does happen, especially when those BF-110s come in. All right, so if we look at our systems, which I think are pretty key, we've got electrical system Mark II, hydraulics Mark II, radar Mark III, we've got extinguishers Mark II, and we've got, ooh, fuel tanks. I, you know I love my fuel tanks. Upgraded fuel tanks are better armored, so less likely to leak. Now that was an interesting thing, is the fuel tanks are on the wings. We're gonna upgrade the fuel tanks, and I think that if we go to extinguishers, if it's not too expensive, let's do that. Oh no, it's over the weight limit. Okay, let's go to equipment. So this is another thing I've been doing, right? So I had, I didn't have that many med kits, and we've actually lost some crew as a result. I, when I was doing my grinding, I lost five or six crew members. Ooh, see this one's got two slots. Oh, never mind. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> we gotta unlock that. But look at this. See, this one is a med kit as well. This one is a fire extinguisher, and this one's a med kit. So we have three med kits, one fire extinguisher. So mid front and mid rear. Where should we do it? Probably the mid rear. We could do a two racker here. I'll oh, come off it, mate. We need more engines? I can't do that now. Oh, never mind. I can. Oh my gosh. Should we go with an armored engine Mark III? out on the wings all of our engines are different but all it really means i think is like it's it's kind of funny that we can do this uh should we try this one or should we just do with a standard engine mark three mm. all right so i think that after the next mission what i want to do is i want to upgrade the mid upper turret to the 50 cal mark twos because we're we probably going to be there and then also to go to my equipment and get probably in the mid rear or mid front more like the mid rear maybe there's more crew members in the mid front and get a two or three rack they're not too expensive we just spent money on engines right so we got the halloween flying fortress here and we've got this is a brand new update which i'm going to be going over once ooh crew gear kruger oh my gosh look at this this might be worth it 
If we equip this blue beret to our engineer, who's supposed to be very quick and running around, we can make his speed 179%. He's almost twice as fast as the average man. Let's do it. He's like, Baron, what you doing, mate? So here's the thing, guys. Here is the thing. We've got Operation Hydra. We have to knock out the German Vengeant weapons production, those V1s, those V2s, which at first the British pilots were like, unidentified flying objects. Can you imagine seeing a V1 buzz bomb flying across the channel and there's not even a pilot in it and it's going at incredible speeds and you didn't even know rockets existed? That uh, would be an unidentified flying object. So looking at these missions, this one's a search and rescue. It would be pretty easy, however, this one, the Ammo Dump at Bruges, is a night short duration. There is an enemy ace in the area, and I've got this idea. In the past, when an enemy ace has come up, I haven't focused on him. I've just auto-tagged. So our gunners are shooting at everybody. We haven't shot down an ace just yet. Now, we're going to shoot down an ace, or we're going to go for it. We're going to drop the enemy damage for the next mission. And then we're going to Operation Hydra. So check this out. If I there's a, a couple shortcut keys that they've added. I believe this one may have been there since the beginning. But if we press Shift, boop, boop, we we zoom in. And I, I would like it to stay there, but you know what? Whatever. We could zoom in, zoom out, easy peasy, right? So another thing is, look at this. These guys, you don't know this, and I'm not sure if this is a bug or if this is just another like micro pro tip, but. They actually have three ammo belts, but not everybody has that, right? So, there's also shortcuts, right? So, there's shortcuts for the ammo box. Go ahead, boop, press R. Then we'll go to Mr. Hill. You get your ammo. And then we'll go to Checker. Checker, do you not have a flak vest? You do, you just don't have a... Why don't we have a... We're getting reports that an enemy ace, Felix Feda, is active in the area. Man, we haven't given this guy an armored helmet. We have armored this middle section of the fuselage. We've got a lot of stuff like that. So now, if you check this out, look, now we have three ammo belts. That should keep these guys in action for a little bit longer. So if you look at my crew, we're at tier seven for the pilot, six for Bensley, our mechanic. I've actually had to get a new mechanic twice. They're brave men. And then everybody's at least a five. So let's go ahead and raise the gear. And you know what? I'm gonna, since you're on the fuel, we're gonna go lean. Ooh, lean plus. Is that new? Is Lean Plus a thing? So another thing, I highly advise you doing Lean Fuel at the beginning, because there's no reason not to. We have reached low altitude. Our crew's doing well. Let's go ahead and see. Now we're going to Bruges, so we're going to Belgium here. In Bruges, after all, yes, bougie, bougie. Where's this enemy ace? He'll probably hit us right as we're over the objective or coming back home. That's usually how it goes. Yeah, look at that. The Benelux. The Benelu? Is it Benelu or Benelux? Oh yeah, there's this other thing I forgot to tell you totally. Enemy fighters have spotted. Prepare your butts, gentlemen. But if you look in the upper left-hand corner, it'll say control, and then there's this like purple meter. I can actually press control to slow things down if I if there's a critical moment and I want to better manage my crew. Now, if I don't use that, and in fact, you can also turn it off. Where is it at? Yeah, see, allow slow time. I can turn that off if I wanted to, but I want it on because you never know if you're gonna need it. I don't wanna lose my crew member. However, if you don't use it, basically what's gonna happen, let's go get our front gunner and use focus once these guys are in range. I guess they're not in range yet. Maybe that was a little premature. Dunkirk's ahead. Oh, good old times. Yeah, but if you don't use it, you get a little bit of extra poundage, a little bit of extra money monies at the end. Oh shoot, is Felix already out here? There he is. See, I wanted to just focus on him. All right, here's our target. Yikes. You, sir, are going to the... Oh, God. Get off me nuts. So we just have to destroy the ammo storage. This is a pretty simple task. Stop shooting me, you vandals. How are we doing? All right. This is the bombing mission, and then we can focus. Let's go ahead and release. Oh, that was a little late. We got it, though. Close doors. And you, back here. All right, how are we doing on ammunition? Pretty good. I just want to focus. Ooh, we got, what, medical equipment is needed? Let's go ahead and get here. We should pull out. And I believe that we're still doing pretty good on Felix Fetter. He's up above us. All right, so we need our top guys to do focus. Oh, my God. He just really hit all ammo belts used up. So, R... Checker, go ahead and rearm. 
Now pay the price. Felix! Felix! Come on, Felix! Give it up, man! Where are we going? I'm not gonna focus on any other fighters until Felix is down. And then we're gonna auto-tag. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Auto tag, radio for recon, let's get out of here, boys. Now, let's check the map to make sure we're going in the right way. We are going the right way. Our navigator, I believe we've got our radio men. You've got time. Go ahead and heal up. Boil, oh my god, boil's, boil's pretty weak. Man, our guys are getting hit pretty hard. Wait, what's that auto heal? I think this is some kind of cool new feature. Who's our medic? Richie. Oh, Richie's healing up, okay. All right, we've got that engine is... Let's go ahead and flush it. Cut that cut that engine fire. Nicely done, nicely done. Oh, God, hold up. Medic, medic, medic. Richie, go ahead and grab this med kit and heal our good old friend Boyle. And we've just made it across the English Channel. That was, that was really fast. And heal Mr. Boyle. Boyle, you've got a minute and 30 till you bleed out. Oh, God. And our nose gunner doesn't have a lot to shoot at at this point. All right, Boyle's healed up. Richie, go ahead and get back to the radio. We made it across the channel. That one was pretty tough, though. I'm not gonna lie. But we did destroy the ammo dump, so that means the damage of the vehicles in the next one is going to be lower. We're gonna get 50 calibers up here, which I'm very excited for. And now at this point, I generally like to just lower the gear and speed it up. I'm not, I'm not sure if this does anything. Let's go ahead and lean it. And if anybody's got, like, you know, an ability, I'm not defensive fire. I don't want to fire a lot of a lot of bullets over England. This this people sleeping, you know. Come on, man. I tell you what, this thing got shot up. But we did. We finally got an ace, so we should get some extra money, monies. So this is going to be two critical missions today. The first of which was just successful. We had a few people get hit pretty hard and start bleeding out, and I was actually surprised at that. If we have an enemy ace hovering over the next mission, which is the critical one, we're gonna have a hard time. Achievement unlocked, experience, that's right. Ammo dump at Bruges. Oh, we're almost at 7,500. Felix Fetter's down. We defeated you, friend. 3,000 pounds. There it is, we're over it. Yes, no slow time bonus. See, this is what it's, this is what I'm talking about. If I don't use that little control thing, and then we got the optional recon photos as well. I can't see what it is. But it looks like it was 1776. If that was a one, American independence in a in a British bomber game, unprecedented. How do we do, guys? Come on, everybody's got to level up to like 57. If you shoot down an ace, you're pretty much an ace yourself, right? So yeah, as Remax said, in this game, aces die and bombers live high. That is great. All right, so yep, LV Dragon. We used his tip on the ammo belts. There's actually three. And then Montage Gaming was saying we need to add another med kit. I think it's time to do that. So we got Lean Plus. We also have a, uh, I gotta remember that Jennifer Ritchie can take over for fuel if we need. Ooh, Evade Flak and Emergency Dive. That's pretty good. And then Defensive Fire for Mr. Charles Boyle. I think it's time to give our gunners a little bit better defenses and upgrade the defenses. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. The 50 calibers. So let's go that. We gotta upgrade this bad boy because this next mission is incredibly difficult. Oh wow. We have less bullets, but the damage per second goes up considerably. Look at that. It's only a thousand pounds. This guy is actually the closest to the ammo dump. So we're just gonna have to manage him a little bit better, I believe. Now ventral turret, we never really do it. Ooh. Now, do we want to do this? This guy's kind of far. If we had him ammo fed, he'd be able to fire non-stop. But I'm not sure if we want to do that. I feel like the ventral turret could be a 50 cal. But look at that, 3,600 pounds. Because it's also the closest. So if those are the heaviest hitters and the closest to the ammo, I think that makes sense, right? I think we're going to need everybody on the guns this time. I'm undecided what we should do. All right, I did buy a two rack equipment in the mid to front. And I'm wondering, should we do one in the, this area as well? If I made it a two, I could also put in a fire extinguisher. But I think we also need to upgrade the fuselage here. See, look at this. Armored fuselage mark one. This is... The nose is pretty weak. The front is armored mark two. Mid is armored mark three. That's our strongest part. M main rear mark two. Tail. Wings could definitely do with a little bit. 
but the tail could be helpful to keep this guy alive, right? All right, so we upgraded the extinguishers. We upgraded the fuselage. Now everything, I believe, is at at least a Mark II on armor. And then we got the 50 caliber guns on our mid to upper turret. The ventral turret we haven't upgraded yet, and none of the other ones are upgraded either. I don't want to put 50 cals in the front because of how long it will take them to get to the ammunition. So now we're going to fight the Germans here, and it looks like Northern Germany or like, yeah, I don't even- Whoa. There was just a weird shadow that went by my window? What the heck was that? Sorry about that. Look at this! The enemy aces, so Felix Fetter is down, we've got Guna Gunta and Bruno Brennan. Now, fortunately for us, they're not going to be on this mission. No ace in the area. We have to stop Operation Hydra. The V1s and V2s. And we also have the enemy damage down. Look at that. Level 8. Alright, so we're going to send everybody to grab their third belt of ammo right now. What happens if I send two at the same time? Hopefully they queue up fine. They don't- they won't jam each other. This guy's actually much faster. We just armored his rear section here, so that should be pretty good. Now for you, you can do lean when we need to. So let's go ahead and do lean. We'll go take off procedures. Are we not able to do lean? No, you're, you're leaning it up, son. We've got the extra rack. We've got the 50 caliber machine gun upgrade. That looks just gorgeous. Look at that. That's brisk. This thing is starting to bristle with like defensive firepower. I wonder if they're ever going to allow mod support or if they're just going to have like future updates and stuff like that. But I wonder if we might get like B-17s or Tupolev 4s or maybe like Heinkel 177s where you get to play as other nations doing their mission sets. That could be kind of cool. Especially, oh you know what would be really cool? Is if there was a mission where you uh, were flying one of the Japanese Betty Bombers and when you, your bomb bay you dropped it and it was an Oka little rocket. A guided rocket like bomb, which would be pretty sweet. Look at this beautiful thing, man. What a great, what a great looking, a great looking bomber. I tell you what, this might be the best crew I've ever had. I hope that we're gonna be fine. If I need to, I will press control to slow things down. Now, I'm not sure if you have to press it once or if you have to hold it down, because it is a meter. Or if you press it once down and then press it again, it stops and goes back to normal time. This is a crucial mission, gentlemen. Baron's Brigade, we need to succeed in this mission. We need to stop the German Vengeance Weapons Program. All right, so let's see where we're at. Once we're about halfway over the channel, oh, enemy sighted. I'm not gonna use the auto tag feature because it's just three. Hopefully they're BF-109s. We'll see what's going on. And you know what? Nose Gunner, you, sir, are going to be focused. Once you open fire here, Lean is ready to use. Well, let's do it again. Where are they at? Here we go. Opening fire. I'm hoping we can bring them down. Let's get... Alright, we've focused up our two main gunners. Where are they? They're sticking high above us. Let's check where we're at. Oh yeah, it's time to do the uh, radio for recon. To see if there's any, like, flak on the coast or... You know, any, like, maybe patrols or something we might see. You know what's interesting? is I was flying back on a mission since the update and I saw a U-boat in the water. New intel received. Let's see where it is. Oh, nicely done! Enemy fighter down. All right, what do we have? What do we have? I think we might have new fighters popping up. Adjusting heading. Good job, gentlemen. Come on. Oh, that, that looks like a Focke Wolf 190. You gotta hit that. Hit it and quit it, gonna. Let's go ahead and reload while we have the time and things are a little bit slow. Come on, boys! Yes! Excellent. Now you, sir, rearm. I gotta remember to do that in between action, because there's just no reason not to. A V2 is about to launch from Cookshaven! Hurry and stop the blasting thing! Save your bombs for the primary objective. Try to shoot it down during launch. Okay, so... Then, what is this? Why is it just one? That's not an ace. It's just a single fighter. Weird. Very strange. All right, we've got our next objective, uh, or rather next waypoint. It's over here. We got to intercept the V2, which is a rocket. We got to see it taking off. I hope we get to see that again. I could always slow it down to really see 
you know, try to try to take extra note because as this is a critical mission, I don't mind not getting the extra money monies. Oh man, we are close to what is this? Is this the Kiel Canal? And there's that one freaking fighter just hanging out there. He's like stalking us. I don't know. Maybe since it's an individual, it's a BF-110. Oh, enemy sighted high. Where'd they go? Radio for recon recharged. I, don't, I might as well not use the auto tag if I don't need it. The V2 is launching. Oh, shoot. Nearby hazard detected? Oh, God, that's a lot of flack. We're about to get into it, man. We're about to get into the mix. What is that over there? That's the V2. I need everybody focused on that. That is our objective. Gentlemen. Gentlemen of the jury. Oh, there it is. All right, I want you to focus on that. Everybody's focusing. Strafe this, dude. We're like an AC-130 gunship. Shoot it, gentlemen. Oh, there's nobody in the freaking No! I derped. We gotta use our rear. There's enemy flak, man. We're, we're shooting at it. Look at the rocket. Are you serious? I did so bad. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna try to shoot down another one. Nobody was in the uh, ventral turret. Oh my god, is that engine on fire? No, it's just some flak. All right, where is it? Oh man, who's that? Oh, there, that's the freaking V2 again. Hit it, boys! Hit the rocket! Hit the rocket! Yes! No freaking way did we just do that. I'm so pleased. All right, carry on to the primary objective. We might want to hop up and get around this flak now. This flak, all right, that was light flak. This is kind of heavier flak. Focus is recharged. I'm wondering if I might want to go to medium altitude. I don't want to boost. Um, how are we on fuel? We're good on fuel. We're a much more armored ship this time. Much more armored ship. Plane. It makes you wonder if you use these same kind of uh, weapon, or like these same kind of, what you call it, these same kind of mechanics in this game. Like, what if you could manage a U-boat? Or like uh, a destroyer or something like that. Enemy fighters on radar? Fine, dude. We'll auto tag, we'll also radio for recon. Gentlemen, pick them up. I want this 50 cal operational. Mission target is ahead. Good lord, look at this. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's skirt this other flak. And then, once we skirt that, we'll come in to the objective. Top Gun needs ammo. Checker, go ahead and get ammo too. Aye, sir. Getting that. We're getting them bullets. Now, I don't have incendiary bullets just yet. Go ahead and clear. How are we doing, boys? I think we're, we're knocking them down. All right, there is the bombing objective. I believe it's just one of three. So now we're going to need to get Checker in the bomber. Bensley, go ahead and take there. Let's go ahead and open the doors. We're gonna keep them open. So this is the, look at this. This is a huge production facility of fuel for these rockets. Hopefully we don't try to wing over it derpy style. No, that actually was pretty well done. Alright. Come on, baby. Oh, shoot! That was close. That was pretty close. Alright, we did it. Beasley, get back on the fuel. Are you good on ammo? Reload. Are you good on ammo? You're gonna have to be good enough. Uh, we're gonna auto-tag these bad boys, and we gotta get out of dodge now, boys. There's a freaking BF-110 on us! I need Ventral Gunner. These 110s are nasty. These things chew you up so badly. Look how beautiful that aircraft is. But we- Yeah! <laughs> Took him out. Alright, now let's get out of here. Oh god. I guess I could go around it. Or we could go over it. There's just a lot of flak in this area. I think I should have gone around it. We're gonna try to skirt around at least as much as possible. We actually might hit that objective on the way back. Let's lean it up, baby. Let's ensure we get back to base. That one, please. Thank you. Because I want to get this uh, photo opportunity. So, checker. I guess we don't need you there just yet. Yeah, we're not even next to that photo op. But look, there's the flak. But I think since we're skirting it, we're doing pretty good. Go ahead and uh, radio for recon. I'm gonna need some recon there, Richie. Richie, radio the freaking recon, son! You gotta find out where the enemy's at. I've also heard something where if you drop bombs and take a photo, you kind of double up the experience. Look at this. It should be... There it is. I'm just gonna say just off the nose to the right. Alright, so at this point, let's go... You, 
Bensley, are you still? Yeah, you're still leaning us up. Gotta make sure we get back to base. Look at that flak. Dude, we're out of range, son. I, I tell you what, with a better understanding of this game, enemy fighter spotted on the radar. Beep, 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 beep. Tag him. Bag him and tag him. How are we doing on ammo? Good, good, good. Look at this flak. We gotta get out of here after we take this photo. There we go, 500 extra. We'll take it. Hill, you're supposed to be back there, friend. Well, you, you told me to come up here. Yeah, I guess I did. Go ahead and repair that. Are, are my set to get out of here? I hope so. You can see that the left engine, or I guess that's the right, yeah, the right outermost engine is heated up. Now, does that mean I can repair it? Oh, might as well get everybody on bullets right now. Can you repair that? No, you can't. All right, we'll get back on the fuel duties, my friend. And we're getting out of here. Oh God, I can't believe this, man. This is a major mission that we would have completed. Munich's ahead. Oh, dude, FC Bayern Munich's playing down there. Mario Gomez. Man, that was years ago. I wonder who played for Bayern Munich in the 40s. But right now, we've got Robert Lewandowski. Oh, enemies up high. It's Robert Lewandowski, the enemy striker. Yeah, dude, that's Frank Ribéry. He, even though he's French, you know, but whatever. We got Robert Lewandowski, and then we've got, you know, Joshua Kimmich. I guess instead of Ribéry, we should have, like, Thomas Mueller. Those are the enemy fighters. Sorry, boys, you're gonna get wrecked. Let's go ahead and do some a little bit of focus. Yeah, dude, that's what's up, dude. We just shot down Bayern Munich players. I thought I saw it. There we go, yeah. Some more, and more enemy fighters coming in. This might be a long way back, boys, but... I'd say we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to make it across the channel. It'd be really cool if we're gonna see U-boats. I have seen them in the channel now since the update while I was doing a little bit of grinding and a little bit of exploration and experimenting. I wanted to get a lot of the simple missions and upgrade the plane out of the way so that you guys could see the main missions, the good stuff. Yeah, Boom! Got him! All right, no submarines have popped up. No German U-boats. The undersea boot has not been sighted, but the cliffs of Dover... Are these the cliffs of Dover? I don't know. Well, no, the, the cliffs, the beaches. Wait, is that even a cliff or is that just a beach? Maybe a little bit of both. It's a, it's a beach cliff. It's a bliff. We're passing the bliffs. Oh, bluffs. Maybe that's where that comes from. Yo no sé nada, pero... Este aeroplano es muy bueno. We're coming in for landing. You know what? Let's boost. We're gonna boost in. We got our landing gear out. Approaching London now. We're trying to somersault. What are you doing? Oh god. Did I crash this thing by doing boosted fuel? We're coming in hot! Dude, do I tell you what? We're low on fuel. Yeah, we are. Cause we just done won the war. I mean not really, but we won the battle. And the Flying Fortress made it back. I'm really curious to see what name you guys vote on for the next episode. We will rename this Baby Bama each time. That is a success. Mission result, blinding success. We're just blinded by how glorious this is. We, the ace is high. Oh, we gotta rename. But you know what they say, aces die and bombers live high. Return to base bonus, no slime, no slime, <laughs> no slow time, aka slime bonus. We're gonna call it slime bonus. Optional recon photos, that is a lot of money. The optional recon photos got us more money than Operation Hydra objective. Holy goodness gracious, that's pretty impressive. Now, at this point, we've gotta consider, we got a lot of money and we got a lot of research. And now we've got the campaign progress. Let's see. Did anybody get new skills? I don't think so. But you know what? We fought the good fight. We got Percy the Pigeon. We got some engines. We got some uh, tough and survival vests out here. And what I want to know, guys, is do we have another, like, key mission here to do? Let's see. Nope. Just a few. What's this one? <gasps> a bouncing bomb test run? Oh, my God. Have you heard about these things? Oh, dude, the next episode is gonna be great. That is cool. I think we're gonna do the Dam Busters mission. The British bombers created these really cool bombs that bounced on the water, and they would hit German dams with them. Oh my god, this is amazing. Let me know how we should upgrade the bomber. We've got 7,330 pounds to do it there, laddie book. And we've got a lot to do. 
So let me know what we're going to name the bomber. Let me know how we're going to upgrade it. Let me know what crew materials we need. And I will see you guys, Baron's Brigade, in the next video.